Welcome back to another episode of Interesting People on Quaver TV, where we explore the fascinating lives and careers of Hollywood's most captivating figures. Today, we're diving deep into the career of one of cinema's most prolific actors, Nicolas Cage. Known for his wild energy, iconic performances, and complete dedication to his roles, Cage has left an undeniable mark on Hollywood. But there's more to his legacy than just award-winning performances and cult classics. Today, we're taking a closer look at his on-screen body count and the deadly characters that have made Cage a standout actor in some of the most intense and violent films ever made. Nicolas Cage was born Nicolas Kim Coppola in 1964, but early in his career, he made the decision to change his last name to Cage to avoid the shadow of his famous uncle, director Francis Ford Coppola. Inspired by the Marvel superhero Luke Cage, Nicholas wanted to build his own career from the ground up. And did he ever succeed? Cage quickly became known for taking on eccentric and unpredictable roles, from rom-coms to action blockbusters, always pushing the boundaries of what audiences expected. But what sets Nicholas Cage apart from his contemporaries isn't just his range, it's the sheer number of times his characters have left chaos and destruction in their wake. Whether he's taking lives or having his own character meet a brutal end, Cage's on-screen body count is legendary. Let's start with Face Off 1997, where Cage plays the deranged terrorist Caster Troy. In this role, Cage is responsible for numerous deaths, thanks to his violent criminal background and the over-the-top action sequences. As Caster Troy, Cage's character wreaks havoc with explosive shootouts, high-speed chases, and plenty of casualties along the way. Face Off cemented Cage as a master of action roles, but this was far from his only venture into films with high body counts. Next, let's look at Con Air 1997, where Cage plays Cameron Poe, an ex-convict who finds himself trapped on a hijacked prisoner transport plane. Throughout the film, the characters around Cage drop like flies, with one dangerous showdown after another. Whether it's in a fiery explosion or a brutal fistfight, bodies pile up as Poe fights to survive and protect those around him. Even though Cage's character isn't the one pulling the trigger, the carnage surrounding him is undeniable. Then there's Ghost Rider 2007, where Cage steps into the role of Johnny Blaze, a stunt motorcyclist who makes a deal with the devil and becomes the fiery, skull-headed Ghost Rider. As the Ghost Rider, Cage is responsible for taking down a number of demonic foes, adding a supernatural element to his body count. This was one of Cage's more supernatural roles, but the end result was the same, plenty of destruction, plenty of dead enemies. In Mandy 2018, Cage takes on one of his most brutal and violent roles yet. His character, Red Miller, is out for revenge after a cult murders his wife, and he goes on an unrelenting killing spree to exact his vengeance. From chainsaws to crossbows, the body count in Mandy is staggering, and Cage delivers one of his most intense performances, further proving that he's never one to shy away from violent, gut-wrenching roles. And let's not forget Lord of War 2005, where Cage plays arms dealer Yuri Orlin. While this role may not have him directly involved in shootouts or bloody brawls, Yuri's line of work leads to countless deaths as a result of the weapons he sells. It's a darker, more nuanced portrayal of violence, but one that's just as deadly. Cage's character here is responsible for untold numbers of casualties as his weapons fuel wars and conflicts across the globe. Of course, Cage has also met his own end on screen. Multiple times. In Leaving Las Vegas 1995, his character Ben Sanderson drinks himself to death in a tragic, heart-wrenching portrayal of addiction. In Kick-Ass 2010, his character Big Daddy is brutally killed by the villain, adding yet another notch to his cinematic body count, though this time is a victim. Whether he's playing the hero, the villain, or something in between, Nicolas Cage has always found himself in the middle of the action, often with a high death toll to show for it. His on-screen body count might be hard to calculate exactly, but one thing's for certain, Cage has made a career out of taking on roles where death and destruction are just part of the job. That wraps up today's episode of Interesting People on Quaver TV. Nicolas Cage's on-screen body count may be massive, but it's just one part of what makes him one of the most fascinating and unpredictable actors in Hollywood. Be sure to join us next time as we continue exploring the lives of the most interesting people to ever grace the screen. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you again soon.